What's going on guys? This is Goofy Goop the Balls bringing you guys another quick Black Ops 3 tips and tricks video. In this video I'm going to show you guys a little different way to get headshots. If you guys are out there grinding for your gold, diamond, or even dark matter camo, you know headshots is the challenge that takes the longest. Getting 100 headshots is not necessarily the hardest, but it does take the most amount of time I'd say than any of the other challenges you have to do in order to get a gold weapon. And I've seen a lot of other videos on this topic and tried a lot of different tips, and those are all good tips. I'm not saying those aren't good tips, like using high caliber, using an elo sight, uh, trying to flank the enemy even in big game modes, and just get up behind people to get headshots are all fantastic ways to get some headshots. But one way I figured out that I don't see a lot of people using is if you use the heat wave specialist. So this specialist, when you use it, it throws out a wave of heat and stuns any enemy around you, basically like a stun grenade, and it's kind of a little bit stronger than that and has a very wide radius. So what you can do to use this to your advantage is when someone's running at you or running around you or something like that, their head's going to be really hard to hit, and you're pretty much not going to be able to go for the headshot. Specifically, you're only going to be able to try to kill them, and if you get a headshot, then, well, you got lucky. But what you can do is just use this specialist, and like I said, it has a pretty good range, so you're going to be able to use this a lot. So use the heatwave specialist and completely stun the enemy, and just walk right up to them and shoot them in the head. This is going to be really easy for you guys. I mean, once they're stunned, they're pretty much stationary. At best, they can maybe jump a little bit up and down and move a little left and right, but it's going to be a lot easier to hit them in the head when they're in this position than when they're running around normally. And especially because they'll be like this for a few seconds, you have time to run up real close to them and have an even higher chance of getting the headshot. And another benefit to this is the heat wave ability charges very, very quickly compared to everything else. Especially when you throw overclock on it and are getting a few kills per minute, you're going to earn it a lot of times in one game. The only downside to this is that the heat wave ability is something you unlock at level 46, which is pretty high up there in the prestige considering there are only 55 levels. So one thing to do is if you're prestiging a lot or going for that dark matter camo trying to grind to master prestige, it's definitely worth your time to permanently unlock the heat wave ability and I have actually done that because it gets me a lot of headshots that combined with all the other methods I use really helps me get my headshots fast. I even have like a 1 to 4 headshot ratio for some of my guns because I've started doing this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick headshot tip and can use it to help you guys get more gold, diamond, and dark matter camo. This has been Goofy Goop the Balls, and I'll catch you all in the next video.